Hi, my name's David Erdos, um, actor, writer, director, teacher, uh, filmmaker, uh, and contributing editor of the International Times. Uh, I've been writing a poem a day called the, from the, a collection called The Corona Diaries, um, which I've been posting to sort of friends and public on Facebook and to, to various um, colleagues of mine. Um, and it's just uh, occurred to me too late in the day <laughs> that I should be trying to do something on YouTube as well. So I've just worked out how to do it. Um, and hopefully I'll, I'll put one up every day from now. Um, and at some point, some of the ones that have preceded it. Uh, so this was a poem posted today called Hooky. Just like a child truanting, while all children do. The primed minister makes us mother, expecting our pixelated arms to embrace him in his hour of need feels obscene. With his loosened shirt for appeal and unkempt boy-like trademark, his video close-up seems to push his fat and fevered face through the screen. There is the genteel reminder to stay, like you might say to a dog before whipping. Big brotherly false affections in which the sibling of choice will be struck, as most young children are by their older brothers who beat them, and by their sisters too, poised and pretty, with them in the house, we're all fucked. For Google know where we are, and are flinging it all towards Cummings, who uploads frenzied data into his preordained spells, which are nothing to do with magic, of course, as they favour misinformation's illusions. As we sit trapped, phones betray us, irrespective of who's sick or well. Everything is now up for grabs, with everyone playing hooky. For instance, examination grades will be based now on a teacher's attitude and approach. For the first time, that sense of disrespect has been spreading may perhaps bite the children who thought that youth alone held control. Now no one owns their lives, at a point when the precise opportunity rises even as the stalled future grows as abstract as Moreau, Duchamp or Magritte. Picasso-like mirrors will warp as we pass and stare, sweating at them, while seeking strange new dimensions to rescue us all from defeat. And as with Orwell's child spies, separation does nothing. We are all watched and witnessed, even as we feel incomplete. Apart from those with loose shirts, who are holding the ties sent to bind us, and a person in Wuhan who matched prawns with panic and made us all tender meat. David Erdos, April the 4th, 2020.